Good morning, my name is Andrew from the Advanced Technical Support Team for Variable Speed Drives. Today I'm going to show you how to select forward and reverse at two different speeds. As the drive comes out of the box, they are usually set up for digital control with the analogue reference as the main speed selection. This means we can raise and lower the speed by adjusting the potentiometer up and down, but it's a variable speed rather than a fixed speed application. The first thing to do is to stop the drive and make sure that you're starting from a factory reset condition. We can then make our way into the functions menu. Start from the ready position, press enter, go to COMF, press enter, go down to full, press enter and go down to the function menu and press enter. Once in the function menu, scroll down to the preset speed menu, PSS with a minus sign. What I'm going to do is assign the same inputs for preset speeds to the same logical inputs used for the forward and reverse motion. First, I'm going to assign the preset speed 2 to logic input 1, the same as the forward input. Once I've assigned this, I can go to preset speed 4 and assign that to li2, which again is assigned to reverse function. In this example, I'm going to select the forward speed of being a 15 Hz speed, and then I'm going to select the reverse operation to be 35 Hz. We do this by assigning our preset speed 2 to our 15 Hz for our forward direction. And once we set this, we go to SP3, preset speed 3, and assign that to our reverse speed of 35 Hz. One thing to remember is that on these two inputs, it's a binary coded input, so if both come on together, they will assign the speed set in preset speed 4. For reasons of safety, I would usually assign this to a slower speed or zero speed to suit the application, but something that would point out that there is a problem with the system. Once we've finished doing our setup, we can just press the escape button back up to the normal ready start position. Now, if we press the forward button, what we'll see is the drive will run forward to our 15Hz preset speed without the aid of any analogue input. If we now press the reverse button, we can go in the reverse direction at our preset speed 3, which is our 35Hz level. Again, if we release it, it goes back down to zero. If we wanted to do an oscillating operation, i.e. forward and then reverse, i.e. a drill head operation, by flicking straight from the forward to reverse operation, we will get both the 15 hertz forwards going straight to the 35 hertz in reverse. You will see ramp down between the two though. These ramp down times and ramp up times can be independently adjusted or you could have a free wheel stop, or you could actually set two different ramp times for forward and reverse. Because the drive can have the two inputs assigned together, this is showing that if we make the LI1 and LI2, we'll get a motion in direction, but only at the preset speed in the level four, which means it's moving to save speed either forward or reverse, or as I said before, select zero. Thank you for watching.